Hello everyone. Today we're going to be uh, doing a walkthrough of a new platform called GiveTaxFree.org. Honestly, you know, I was planning to do a walkthrough of this platform, but you know, I hadn't gotten around to it. However, I'm kind of you know forced to at this point because it turns out that my sister has cancer and. I wanted to uh, attempt to use this platform as a means by which to try to raise some money for her treatment and recovery. You know, not the reason that I wanted to create this video. I was hoping to create it just for the sake of showing off a new platform, but it turned into something rather personal for me. And so hopefully we're successful in raising funds via this givetaxfree.org. Uh, one of the cool things, I've actually spoken to the creator of this website, and they informed me that one of the best features, or one of the amazing features, may not be the best, but uh, it's actually, it says it right here, one of the best features here of, of raising funds via givetaxfree.org is that the people who donate to your campaign, they actually get a uh, tax deduction. This is a, a tax write-off here. So... I mean, you know, if you this they're they're a nonprofit. So if you look at here, it says it here somewhere. Five hundred one c three nonprofit. This is like charity. You know, it's it's uh, tax free, and it's you get a tax deduction for your donations. So this is actually really cool uh, as an alternative to other fundraising sites like GoFundMe. So I am going to walk through this process and hopefully. And, you know, at the same time, we can get some funds for my sister to help her through this uh, troubling time. Uh, the first step here is to click this uh, nice blue create a campaign button. And I'm going to go ahead and do just that. On here, it, it looks like a pretty simple uh, information entry form. It looks as though if you've already created an account, you can go ahead and log in right here. But uh, we have not, so we're going to go ahead and set this up. Now, since my sister's uh, information is going to be quite public already, I'm going to go ahead and leave her info right here. So, Callie Carter, username, Carter. I prefer not to put my email out there, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, take that off to another screen. One second. So, it looks like, okay, when you load the page, it does this. All right, so I was already in the process of creating a um, campaign. I just wanted to load this up so I could uh, kind of walk through the steps a little bit while I'm filling in the private information on the side here. One thing I will note is that, you know, as I came back, having the animations come in like that, it kind of, you know, took me a, about a half second before I could get to the actual create a campaign button. I don't think that would be an issue for somebody who's just coming to the website for the first time, but since I was like already here and I was trying to recreate my steps, it seemed like a little bit of a delay there. But again, for somebody who's new to this uh, site, um, they're not gonna know what to look at yet anyway, so I don't think it's gonna be too big of a problem for someone new. So I put in uh, my sister's first name and her last name. I'm, 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 I want her name uh, associated with this account, so I'm kind of setting it up for her. So I'm gonna put her first name and last name. I put her username on here as well. And then I'm putting my email address and phone number, and then I'm setting up a password. Obviously, I don't want to have the password and my phone number and email address here on the screen. So I'm just going to go ahead and bypass that part and I'll register and show you what it looks like on the back end. So one second while I finish that up and we'll be right back. All right. So here we are in the back end. Uh, it appears as though we, this is where we start creating our campaign information. We've got a spot to uh, enter the name. What's our goal, financial goal. How much do we, are we trying to raise? The number of days the campaign should be active or just leave it blank to keep it open until the goal is achieved donation type so i'm gonna put cancer obviously um, medical expenses other life essential necessities so you know part of this uh, fundraiser is for her cancer but the other part is for all the time she's gonna have to miss from work after the uh, surgery so I'm going to go ahead and add this other life ne essential necessities, non-essential or fun items like an Xbox. No, 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 
Uh, so YouTube, Rumble, Vimeo, video URL, if any, don't have any of those right now. Uh, I am not, we are not a 501c3 organization campaign name. So I'm probably going to edit this after the fact, but I just want to get something in here. Recently diagnosed with uh, ovarian cancer. Need um, funds for operation. All right, that's, I'm gonna leave it at that. I'll go back and edit it. I'm assuming I can edit it after the fact, so I'm just gonna start with that. Now I talked to my sister and her uh, actual goal as far as funds that she can raise is uh, $10,000. I'm gonna put a comma. I'm hoping it will parse the comma out. Uh, I don't know if I need to put a dot zero zero on there. I'm assuming not. So that's that. I do have a Word document where I put a bunch of information here I'm going to go ahead and add this information. I'm uh, okay. Again, I'm going to edit this. I probably should have written it before I decided to start recording this video. This is in no way the uh, final uh, write up. I'm going to make it look better than this. This was notes that I was taking as I was talking to my sister. But anyway, this is what it looks like for now. I'm going to add an image uh, to this, but just stand by while I go ahead and grab this image. Hold on. All right, so uh, or this is the back end where I just uploaded a picture. This is my sister's um, photo. This actually, um, this appears to be a WordPress website. So it looks like from the back end, this is the WordPress logo. I'm very familiar with this process of uploading photos. So this all makes sense to me. I'm going to insert this into the page. Ovary tumor, that looks weird. Um, so yeah, that's... Uh, okay, so hmm. Okay, yeah, I see what I where I went wrong. So here, um, this can be confusing. I will say um, the add me add more images section right here. Um, I should have known. Uh, from you know being experienced with WordPress that this was to add the image right into this uh, section of the content but I didn't actually intend for this to go in the content I wanted this to be the featured image so I'm gonna go ahead and delete that and then I'll go back and add it as a featured image I'm gonna choose the file here give me a moment while I grab that yeah that makes more sense um, I'm setting this up now as a featured image I selected it from my hard drive uh, you just got to click choose file and I chose the picture and then, so here is the description. This is the title. Here's the description. My sister has cancerous tumors on her ovary and uterus. Uh, the ov ovarian tumor is growing half a pound a week. Um, get rid of this. This is this right here is just a remnants from that um, picture that I accidentally um, added to the media section. Her pre-op is in, is on April 26th, and operation is on May 4th. Um, between the procedure and time off work for recovery, she'll need approximately $10,000. Uh, she needs to get an actual hysterectomy. By the way, she's only 33 years old. This is nuts right now. Um, so my 33 year old sister is gonna get a hysterectomy. It's uh, very sad. Yeah, she was vaccinated. I don't know if that really needs to be in there. Um, I don't know if that has anything to do with it, to be honest, but uh, yeah, it was originally, um, she doesn't know how much her insurance is gonna cover. It was originally thought that um, she had an ovarian cyst, but after further investigation, we re the doctor realized that these were cancerous tumors and really needed to be dealt with. Currently, she's uh, she recently just started a job. She's almost got a year in, and she's kind of waiting around uh, for until April 26th, at which point she will qualify for uh, FMLA, I believe that's Family Medical Leave Act. Anyway, that's why this stuff is so far out. It's currently March and she's waiting until April 26th with a tumor that's growing half a pound a week. It's crazy. Uh, so anyway, I'm hoping for the best. I'm gonna go ahead and click submit the campaign because I believe that's uh, as much as I need to submit. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and submit it and uh, we'll see what happens. All right, here we go, boom. Campaign submitted. All right, so now we're gonna get to payment information. We have two options, 
to send funds to you. You choose, you can send donations to your bank account using the secure services of Wells Fargo Direct Pay, or we can send a check through online bill pay delivered by US Mail. All available funds will be sent to you each week. Click here to find a guide for how to choose the best option. Hmm. Online bill pay, we can issue a check to you using online bill pay through Wells Fargo. It takes five days. Okay. Direct pay is electronic. Um, uh, de direct deposit into your bank account from ours. It takes up to three days for our bank to verify your account and make it active option to us. Then we can transfer funds directly to your account. All right, um, choose payment method. I'm gonna stick with direct, oh, yeah. send a check through online bill pay delivered by US mail. Okay, so I'm gonna, s all right, I'm gonna choose uh, online bill pay for now. It looks like I'm gonna have to enter in all this information for my sister. All right, so for the, I'll be honest, this is a little bit confusing, online bill pay. Because when I see online bill pay, it makes me think of, of paying it online, <laughs> but it's actually being delivered through the mail. So it's it's like a check that gets sent to you. By choosing online bill pay, that's the one that actually gets sent to you in a check format. So that I will say the language on that is a little bit confusing to me, but judging by the fact that it's actually asking for street address, city, state, and zip, email address, like. It, it wants to get um, all this information, mother's maiden name, all that good stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter that and then I'll get back to this. All right, I went ahead and I clicked the submit button. I entered all the information for my sister. I went with the, the online bill pay option so that she should be getting checks in the mail. And I entered my sister's info, her, her mailing address, her phone number, or I'm sorry, her mailing address, my phone number, and um, my email address. And then I checked the, the little box at the bottom that said I agree to the terms and conditions and I hit submit. So now it says my campaign has been submitted and that it will be reviewed by an administrator and will become live shortly. Once my campaign is live, I will be able to share it with the world and I will be notified by email when my campaign has been approved. This usually takes less than an hour. All right, so at this point, I'm basically as far as I can go. And I guess I'll just have to wait for an email to arrive telling me that my uh, campaign has been approved. Hopefully at that point I can edit it and make it sound a little nicer. <laughs> but that's that's the process for setting up your givetaxfree.org campaign. It wasn't too hard. A uh, couple, couple places where I got a little confused. But other than that, it's fairly simple to set it up. And I will hopefully be sharing this campaign on behalf of my sister very soon and um, hopefully we can raise some money for her to help offset the cost of this surgery and recovery time for this horrible horrible disease uh, of cancer so thanks for watching and um, wish me luck god bless